coverage you can count on continues with Gina Glaros and meteorologist Rob Leidick. For more than 20 years, Science Central in Fort Wayne has been helping kids learn about science and have fun. And Martin Fisher from Science Central is back. What do you, uh, what Got do you have here with us? some creepy crawlies, right? I brought a couple of friends in today, some of our insect friends that we have inside of Science Central's natural science area. These are Madagascar hissing cockroaches. They hiss. Now, they do, although these, they probably won't. We hold them so often at Science Central, they're used to us. Typically, that hissing sound is a defense mechanism. That's just a fancy word that scientists use to say, scare off a predator. Get away. Get away. Yeah. So if it thinks that I'm a predator that's going to come along and chomp on it, let's see, I don't know if the camera can zoom in or not. I'll try to hold my hand. Oh, there we go. I'll even arch it down a little bit. So along the sides of the body of this animal, there are tiny little holes called spiracles. It's a fancy word for little tubes or air passages. Mm. And if you take a look, you'll notice that there are segments. That's one of the characteristics of insects. They have these segmented bodies. Well, if this animal thinks that I'm a predator, a lizard or a bird that's gonna come along and chomp on it for breakfast, it will squeeze its body together. It'll oh. contract those segments. It'll force the air out through those spiracles and it makes a hissing sound. Oh, it's okay. It's kind of cool actually, yeah. Some of the other defense mechanisms that this animal has is it can flatten its body, making it harder for the predator to come and pick it up and chomp on it for breakfast. Oh, okay. And it also has, if you take a look, you'll see that it has kind of spiny legs, thorny legs. Right. Another defense mechanism, if I'm the animal and I actually got it into my mouth, I'll get stabbed a little bit and maybe I'll spit it out. it out. Oh, okay. Okay, I know you don't want to hold it. That's cool. <laughs> do, do you want to? This is great. I'll hold it. All oh, right. good, Rob, good. Here stepping we go. up to Bravery. the plate. I, I like it. I like I, I it. No, I have no fear of insects. Okay. Oh, so there are thousands cute. of different species of insects. All you have to do is just touch the back. It's very smooth. It's nice. It won't hurt you. Very smooth. There you go. You did it. Aww. Excellent. Hey. Gina, a new pet for you. <laughs> So, so you won't <laughs> find these crawling in homes here you in Fort You won't, not this type. This type is from Madagascar, so break out your atlas. Madagascar is an island off the southeast coast of Africa. And as I was saying, there are thousands of species of cockroaches all over the world. And this particular type just happens to be found in Madagascar. Oh, okay. okay. So you can even find them in pet shops. They make really good pets. Now just be aware that if you have male and female, after a while, you're going to have lots. You're going to have mm -hmm. quite a colony. Now, mm -hmm. this particular one is a female. I don't know if the camera can zoom in or not, but insects have three body parts. The head, which is underneath. It's that teeny tiny little thing right okay. beside my thumb. Thorax right there, and then the abdomen. And on that part, you'll notice that it's smooth. That okay. means that it's a female. If, oh. if it's male, they have what look like two horns that are sticking up. But remember, that part isn't the head. It's under, the head is actually underneath. Underneath that. Yeah, in fact, if you it's take like, a look, like a little you helmet. can see. Yeah, yeah, you can see that there are two antenna mm. that are sticking up, which also makes it easier to see where the head is located underneath. Okay. Your um, insect exhibit, mm -hmm. is that a big big hit probably for kids' families? Yeah. Because kids we, get to actually hold these they too, They certainly right? can. We have an animal, uh, an area where they're, we're not a zoo, so we don't have as many animals, of course, as our great Fort Wayne Children's Zoo, but we do have a lot of animals that are on display, and we try to find good representatives of insects, reptiles, fish, whatever, and many of them, the visitors can even touch, they can hold. Wow, wow. Martin. And as we mentioned, you are celebrating uh, 20 years. Congratulations. Yes, I am 20 years old. <laughs> you are so happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, but congratulations. We, uh, Your shirt actually indicates, uh, reminds the, us of something that, building, that happened yeah. recently, right? Exactly. On Thursday night, Science Central turned 20 years old. Right. For 20 years, we've been here in the Northeast Indiana area, helping to serve our community and provide fun science education. We had nearly 400 people that showed up. We were wow. free from 4 until 6 o'clock as our way of saying, thank you to the community for helping to support us. So all of our exhibits were open, all of our demonstrations were going on, and then, and then, and then, and then at six o'clock, we had a ceremony, flip some switches, and there we go. There Take a are. look at that picture. We turned some lights on, on top of the building at the bases of the smokestacks. They're on a um, photosensitive timer so that every single night, you'll be able to see our building 
with those gorgeously lit smokestacks. The same way that it's easy to see that iconic building, yeah. Old City Light and Power, mm -hmm. during the day. If you've got a beeline and you're able to see the building during the day with those smokestacks, now check it out at night with those uh, with those lights Definitely that we have on the bottom. Definitely adds to the Fort Wayne skyline, it right? It certainly does, yeah. You know, I love downtown. I love the Martin Luther King Bridge. I love all the things you get to see. And everyone talks about that as the gateway to downtown. Guess what? <laughs> It really is science central. <laughs> it is. It is. I mean, with that logo that we have on mm -hmm. the side of the building and the building itself, this iconic 1929 power plant, and then the smokestacks that are lit on top, Science Central really is the gateway to Fort Wayne. Take it for him. Yeah, we have another player in downtown. <laughs> All right. Martin, great. Thank you so much for coming in. And bringing My in pleasure. some creepy crawls. Oh. And you guys were brave. Well done. Hey, High five. You. you did. Yeah. All we're right. a lot. All right. And if your family wants to visit Science Central, it's located off of Clinton Street. They're open Wednesday through Sunday, and today's hours are noon to 5.